What's up guys? Alex here at AJNashville.com. As you're reading in the title of this, VA is not FHA. What do I mean by that? Most people say when they take VA and they take FHA and they take government loans, they put them all in the same box. And it's the same thing to every person that underwrites them, every person that sells them, every person that gets them. The only person it's not the same for is VA borrowers and FHA borrowers. And here's why. Default rates on VA, uh, let me tell you, 1.98%. FHA, 9.1%. Now these are statistics from last year. I'm reading them from this piece of paper because I want to make sure I give you accurate information. So what that means is 1.98% of the originated loans on our VA made default. Whereas FHA, 9.1%. As you can see, there's a huge balance difference there. The reason why I bring this up is because, once again, investors, um, companies, realtors, everybody, they look at FHA and VA and they say, hey, it all goes in here, it's government. That's not the case. Uh, to prove my point, we just had a conversation with a large um, company that securitizes quite a few loans, actually the largest securitizer in the nation, and they put everything in the same box. That's not the case. So let's talk about the VA borrower of 2016. I've got the 2017 slides, I just couldn't find them. Um, 2016, median FICO, 738. That doesn't sound weak at all. Not when you see FHA programs listed online. We go down to 580, we do this, we do that. 738 credit score, realtors, listen to this. When you get a borrower that's VA, they more than likely have a higher credit score than some of your other offers that come in. Stop projecting these offers. Median liquid assets, 16989 that's enough money for a conventional down payment. However, if you're a veteran, you fought for this country, you protected this flag, why the hell would you put money down when you don't have to? Median household income, 73769 A lot of you will be familiar with that number. That's almost the same number that THDA caps the maximum household income at for two people in the state of Tennessee. Stop projecting VA offers. Um, average loan amount, you guys will love this. Loan officers too, 253261 that is higher than some of my other agent buddies in other states as far as a median loan amount. It's not higher than my median loan amount, but it's higher than most. That's a great payout for commission. That's a great uh, indicator that VA or veterans are buying fairly decent homes. Uh, veterans that made a down payment, 28%. That's a staggering number considering the fact that 100% financing is available to these people. Stop rejecting VA loans. Stop putting them in with FHA. FHA is over here. It's got its own box. Kind of looks like a trash can. And then VA is over here. It's got its own box. Doesn't look like a trash can. Whenever you get a VA offer in, think of this nice big, what do they call this, Jeff? Old Glory? It'd be a flag, yes. It's a flag, yeah. They fought to protect this thing right here, which allows you to do your job, which allows you to get loans, me to originate them, you to sell houses, and everybody to do what they do. So... Stop rejecting VA deals. I'm sick of getting phone calls from people saying, we noticed this was VA. Um, we have some concerns here. I'm going to throw a punch of shit out of the next one of you that sends me a call like that. So, anyways, today's D-Day. Guys, take a minute to remember uh, one of the most tragic events in history. So, please don't forget about that. And thank you for tuning in. Please share this with people um, who have issues with VA, who needs help with the VA, whatever the case may be. I also do a uh, military mortgage boot camp training to help bust some of these myths that we see when it comes to our veterans. So thank you so much for tuning in.